In this video, we're going to cover coordination and hydrolysis. Coordination is also known as bond formation. In this case, you can see an example of a Lewis base forming a bond with a Lewis acid. Remember that a Lewis acid accepts electrons and a Lewis base donates electrons. I'm going to show the lone pair on the bromine in blue and it is forming the bromine carbon bond in blue. So this blue lone pair here becomes a bromine carbon bond. And we're just going from electron rich to electron poor. Here's another example of coordination. And you've seen this one before where we showed the lone pair on the Lewis base. This is our electron donor forming a bond to the aluminum. So this red lone pair becomes the aluminum nitrogen bond. Again, this is known as bond formation or coordination. Heterolysis or bond breaking is the opposite of coordination. You can see here the carbon iodine bond breaking to form a lone pair on I minus. The carbon iodine bond in red breaks and those become the red lone pair on I minus. Remember that there is a hydrogen at this carbon and that's why there is a positive charge on the carbon once the iodine has left. Also do a check. Notice that everything on the left is neutral and on the right we have a plus charge and a minus charge so we still have overall neutral charge. Now at this point we're not talking about why this would happen. You just need to make sure that you can draw the arrows to show how it happens. We'll talk about why in a future lecture. Here's another example of a heterolysis or bond breaking step. In this step the carbon chlorine bond in red here is breaking and those electrons are going to the chlorine. So this carbon chlorine bond here becomes the red lone pair in the product. In this case we started off with a positive and negative charge on the left and our products have a positive and a negative charge. So overall on the left is neutral and overall on the right is neutral. Again, you don't have to predict why this happens. Just given the starting materials, you need to be able to add the arrows that get to the products or given the starting material and the arrow, you need to be able to draw out the products that form.